Well, however, I got a question about this transistor tester from one. Uh, simply enough, 2009 asked about uh, if I tested the frequency input, which I haven't done. And I was a bit lazy when I, although it's lazy is one bit of a right word, but when I put this together, I didn't connect any wires to the frequency input, uh, because that's a separate input from the component tester side up here. So we are going to take this apart. And let's see. The frequency input is up here on top of the screen. There are two connections, so I'm going to get some wires in here and do some fixing. And see if I can get this to work. Give me a couple seconds. So let's have a look at my uh, dodgy uh, measuring setup. Uh, I'm using a breadboard here back here to feed all the signals. I'm using the signal generator, which I built in a video earlier here. And I have set it to 1 kilohertz, 1000 hertz to start off with. And as you can see, I'm using my cheap multimeter as a secondary. It says 1027 hertz and but to assist the says 1027 hertz so mine seems perfect of that and i also have my oscilloscope here and i have 0.2 milliseconds in time division and i have one two three four five and let's see let's do the math i only done it once so i don't forget how to do it five times 0 0.1232 that's two milliseconds per division so that's one millisecond and one through that we get the frequency which is 1000 hertz 1000 hertz so that's correct and the peak to peak voltage is one volt because the divisions on this one is 0.2 volt and i have one two three four and a half and a half so about five and we can also check what this thing says ac voltage it says yeah it's a bit confusing by the frequency you can't i'm not quite sure if you can measure the voltage correctly there but yeah, at least it's showing the frequency quite correct. And we can also try to raise the input a bit and not that much of a reaction. And lowering the input signal, let's see how low it can go. That's 0.4 volt and it's still showing. And if I thought on here, now it gets a bit confusing. So we're going to turn it up back to 1 volt peak to peak and we are at. 1 kilohertz and we're going to turn up the frequency let's see if we can do that we are going up in frequency it's getting tighter on the that's let's see the wait for it four five six seven four five seven oh yeah and if we look at the oscilloscope we have a faster signal we're gonna change the range of this thing and it's gonna pop up to where do we end up? Oh, 88 kilohertz, 87 and 88. Let's find some nice frequency. Like, oh, it's a bit sensitive. Let's go up, 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 up. I wanna find something nice, like. Well, let's do that 74 kilohertz, 74 kilohertz. Let's check with the oscilloscope over here. And that's two microseconds. Vertical position, I'm oh, sorry, horizontal position. Let's move it over a bit. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, close to seven. Uh, let's do the bad math. Cyan times 0 0.123, 1232, and one through. So that's uh, 700. I do the math wrong. Oh, sorry, it's two microseconds. <laughs> My fault. Once more, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, close to seven times one, two, three. That's milliseconds, and two more, and the two. And then one through that, and the frequency is 7428. Yeah, quite good. I'm not reading 
perfectly off oscilloscope, of course, because this crappy small screen. So, let's see, we can turn it up in frequency. That's down. That's 74. Let's try to see, we can whack it all the way up. And. Yeah, 1 megahertz or 1097 hertz, 1 mega, megahertz, 1.095 megahertz, and 1096 kilohertz. It's the same thing. Let's see. 411 kilohertz, 411 kilohertz. So, uh, mine is perfectly working. So, sorry, I think you have missed something if your build if it isn't working. So, take care of out there and leave some nice comments. See you around.